Welcome to this brief demonstration of I Know. This is a knowledge authoring tool that has been developed by anesthesiologists for anesthesiologists to capture the expert knowledge for use in an expert system. When developing a new rule, there are three components that need to be selected. Initially, we need to select a rule name. This is then combined with one or more patterns that would need to be matched in order for the rule to fire. Once the rule has fired, an outcome is displayed. So initially we choose a folder for this rule, and here we choose blood pressure. We then give the rule a name, and here the rule name is hypotension. Once we have selected appropriate rule name and folder, we can then select measurement patterns that will enable that rule to fire. So we will select a measurement pattern from the blood pressure analyzer, which is a non-invasive blood pressure measuring device, and we'll select the systolic blood pressure recorded by that device. It is possible to introduce a delay at this stage that will reduce the number of false positive results. It is now possible to select the boundaries that will enable this rule to fire. So a blood pressure less than 80 millimeters of mercury or greater than 30 millimeters of mercury will cause this pattern to fire. We have now saved this pattern which is indicated in the panel below. Once we have determined which patterns will cause the rule to fire, we then need to assign an outcome associated with this pattern. Once again, we, we need to select a folder, and in this situation, we will choose blood pressure. And the outcome name that we will give it is the same as the rule in this instance. Hypotension. We are able to give a SNOMED concept ID if appropriate. Once an outcome has fired, we are able to display further information about that particular outcome or link it to some local file or other URL that will provide just-in-time information associated with that particular rule. The next rule I will demonstrate how the demographic pattern works. For this rule, we'll use the rule name child. The priority of this is set as high, as this rule will tend to fire before other rules. In the demographic pattern, we select age, and we put in the criteria for selecting a child, which be less than 17 years of age, greater than zero and save this pattern. In the same way we choose the demographics folder and the outcome name of child associated with the use of this pattern. We do not need to display any resources associated with this rule. We can now save this rule. I now wish to demonstrate how rule chaining works. In this example, we combine the rules of child with that of hypotension. So initially we make a new rule called hypotension in a child. For this we choose a measurement pattern, which is very similar to the previous measurement pattern for hypotension, except we use a lower value for the systolic blood pressure. We then add the previous outcome of child as pattern to this current rule. As this produces the same outcome as previously used, we can choose the hypotension outcome and just use this as the current outcome. We can now save this new rule. We can also create a new rule to demonstrate how the deviation pattern works. For this, we create a rule name called hypotension due to decrease in blood pressure. 
In a deviation pattern tab, we define a 20% decrease in the last 15 minutes in the systolic blood pressure as the pattern that would need to be matched to produce the same outcome, hypotension. And once again, we save this rule. As the rule structure becomes more complicated, we have a rule visualization tool that enables us to see how the rules fit together. So here we have the outcome of hypotension with three rules producing the same outcome. We are able to expand this view to see how each rule creates the same outcome. In addition to this, we are now able to save this rule set with its own name. We are also able to combine rules created in other rule sets with the current rule set. This then provides a flexible way to share and reuse rules. Once we have saved the rule file, this can then be used in a real-time expert system. Before we use it in the real-time system, however, we would like to test the system and ensure that all the rules fire for the correct reason. For this, we have a fully functional expert system built into the authoring tool. We select a sample data set, which is in a standard Excel spreadsheet that can be edited at any time, and we run this against the current data set. A number of rules fire in the current data set, and we're able to click on each one of these rules to see both the indication for the rule firing as well as the description associated with that particular rule. We can also expand this to see the exact criteria used to fire each rule.